Okay, we're on. Now then, let's bear with us a second. We're trying to set up a whole thing here at Mark's Bar. Ta-da! This is Mark's Bar. And I'm trying to get where he can see all your lovely comments, because we're going to need... Um, Some participation. We're going to need you to help us name his drink. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. Hey, folks. How are you? Now, there's a lag between what you're doing and what's on Got here. Got it. Yep. So. So, see. first of all, today, you know, it's was 50 degrees here. <laughs> and, you know, it's definitely ready kind of for a little bit more of a summer or spring type cocktail. So, and I'm a huge whiskey fan. So if anybody knows me, they knows that they know that I am a whiskey drinker. So I decided to mix up a different cocktail today. And here's what one looks like. So yes, I've, I've started already. So the thing I don't know is what to call this one. So I'm going to show you how to make it. And then you guys can help me on how to actually uh, to name it. So I've already got, got some cut up, but we're going to start with a couple of slices of peaches right in the bottom of the glass. Well, those are nectarines. They're peaches, Oh, except they're nectarines, but they okay. should be peaches. Grocery store here didn't the have... The grocery store didn't have peaches, yeah, so we're we inventing them. nectarines. So, and then you're going to take three blackberries, nice, plump, juicy blackberries, and then we're going to work... On, we're going to take two sprigs of fresh mint. Now, if any of you come up during the summer, you will notice in our backyard we get taken over by mint here. So, and then about a tablespoon of lime juice. So, a lemon. or lemon juice. Yeah, that lemon lime, it's the same thing, except it's not. So, we're going to squeeze that in there. Now, isn't Whiskey and lime soco. Southern Comfort. Lemon and lime. Or uh, lemon and soco. So soco and lime. Okay. Yeah. But what is Southern Comfort? That's um, cheaper liquor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, David Krogan joined. So, hey David, how are you? So we've squeezed our lemon in there now. And we're going to take, it's it, you know, probably about a teaspoon and a half of honey. I'm just going to guess at it, so I'm just going to put some in there just for a little sweetness. And we're then going to just muddle this gently. Now, what is muddling? So, muddling just kind of breaks the fruit up and the, um, the, um, Mint. Oh yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was excited about this drink. The mint, uh, just a little bit to release the oils and stuff like that in it. So, um, and the juice, so that it gets really, really nice in, in the cocktail. So we've now done that, and then we're going to add about two ounces of good uh, bourbon. Now, Jefferson's. Actually, it's probably more of a sipping kind of a, 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 a bourbon, but we're going to use it in this one because I really do like Jefferson's. You can use whatever you want, um, you know, just, just whatever your favorite favorite bourbon is. Don't confuse that with scotch. Don't. What about whiskey? Uh, you can use whiskey, but um, bourbon and whiskey are very similar, but, you know, I like to make sure it says bourbon on it, so... So we're going to put that in there, and then we're just going to put a little bit of ice. Not too much, just enough to get it cold. And then we're going to top it off with just some club soda. We're going to garnish it with another slice of our peach. We're going to drop in the other three or three more blackberries and then top it off with just a sprig of mint there. Put your swizzle stick in it, stir it a little bit, and 
now you have this delicious cocktail that we don't know yet what to call it. So we are looking to you guys out in Facebook land to help us actually name it. So if uh, you go back, watch the video, you know, leave your comments and enjoy. Mm.